Hello everyone. Let's get started with the pretrial matters for the case of the United States vs. Arnold Jackson. Um, Your Honor, this is a civil case on whether Sally Schuster's seashell business by the seashore sold a chipped seashell to Jolly Jack Jib Jab. Oh yeah, that's right. Man, they come up with all sorts of nicknames for these big cases, huh? Well anyway, let's get started with the pretrial matters, huh? Yes, Your Honor. I'm Abe, and on behalf of the defense, we have Alex and Matt as lawyers, and the three witnesses, Sally Schuster, Jacob Jacobite, and Malcolm Matrix. Those are certainly some interesting nicknames for those Taliban guys. So, Mr. Jibjab, you said that the seashell you were sold had a crack in it. Selling seashells, huh? Never heard that used to reference the sale of weapons of mass destruction. Yet, when you purchased it, you did not notice the crack, correct? Well, when I first seen the seashell, it was all packaged up and I wasn't made aware of the crack. Yet, you didn't think to check in the moment? How many seashells do you think are sold every year with a crack in them? Objection, Your Honor! You're asking my witness to speculate! Well, I would normally overturn this objection, but based on the stance the defense is arguing, and the support of these seashells being sold to Mr. Jack Jib Jab, I don't think they deserve much sympathy at all. Sustained! Man, this judge takes the seashells very seriously, huh? Now, Mr. Jibjab, you were made well aware that there was a strict contract you were required to sign when you purchased the seashell, were you not? Um, well... And this strict contract that's already been presented into evidence clearly states that Sally Seashells Incorporated, and I quote, is not responsible for any damage enacted on seashells after purchase, correct? Well, that's not quite how. And as there was a hammer at the scene of the smashed seashell, it can only be inferred that you were hoping to get a full refund. Am I not dead on? Objection. More prejudicial than probative, Your Honor. Overturned! Agreed. I did not sell a chip seashell. My seashells are perfect. Jack is clearly just trying to get a refund for my carefully found seashells. There was one final thing that caught my eye. When I handed him a seashell, he told me he couldn't wait to see how strong it was. Pretty suspicious. Sally S. Schuster, subscribed and sworn before me this day. Oops. So when Mr. Jib Jab came to buy your shell, did he seem suspicious in any way? <sighs> well, I told my mate the other day that if Mr. Jib Jab thinks he's getting a cent back from Sally, he's absolutely bushwhacked in it. Cause you see, back the other day when I was having me crumpets and tea, I really just thought about how much of a corn raving person Jack had been when I got him some Vegemite Sandy and he asked for a refund. Makes me think about the time I met Bill Clinton. Oh yes I did, you know what he said to me? He said, better watch out for that Jim Jab fellow. Oh by the way, where's my poisonous tarantula? Now, your honor. Are we just to believe that my client, Mr. Jib Jab, just happened to smash his own seashell? The one he worked so hard for? No, no, no. Something just doesn't add up here. He was going to give that to his spouse. In fact, Mr. Jib Jab would be wrong to characterize Sally as aloof, rude, and maybe even a little ostentatious. Objection, Your Honor. This chicanery is clearly a leading question. Agreed. Sustained. Are you insane? Do you have any idea what I'm capable of? I am leagues above you! Leagues! Oh, oh. Shh. Ignore that. Now, when the Federation of Aliens descended onto Sally's seashell stand, I thought to myself, finally, the day of rapture has finally come, and I can ascend these sinners and fulfill my true destiny as one of God's most devout angels. But when I found out that it was just a bunch of weird-looking green guys who took out a hammer and smashed Jack's seashell, I was kind of thrown off. Uh, this was definitely not in your affidavit. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I needed to write down everything I thought into my affidavit like it was my diary. Yes, but you obviously didn't see any aliens of any kind. Yes, of course, the government has covered stuff up, but this is something you should have put in a statement. Yes, I am aware that gelatin is made of pig toenails. No, the universe was not created by a flying spaghetti monster. You know what? No more questions! No more questions ever! Now, Mr. Jackson, when this alleged incident occurred, what were you doing? Well, I was out with my girlfriend Janet. 
And what were you and Janet doing? Well, we were on vacation in Mexico, which is, you know, pretty far away from the docks where the deal went down. So, as the jury can clearly see, my client never had anything to do with the sale of weapons of mass destruction to the Taliban. I'm sorry, but do you have the wrong courtroom? This is a mock trial case. Oh, good heavens. If that's the case, where did I send those two kids in the hallway? Y you think I did what?